Okay, Cindy Lynn here. And Tony. With RV Barn Dominium. And we have another issue with our RV that we decided we were gonna go ahead and do a video for. We were actually camping this past weekend and I went to put on a sweatshirt because it's September and it was kind of cool at night. You know, one of those snug uh, September evenings. So anyway, I went to get my sweatshirt and it was wet. I'm like, oh no, I knew that was a problem. So I'm like, Tony, my sweatshirt's wet. Long story short, we think that our caulking at the top on the roof of the RV, where the back meets the top, and also where the ladder connects at the top, there's two, two spots where the ladder connects on the roof, that it is probably leaking in one of those spots. So what I'm doing today, Tony's got his tools. Got your tools? <laughs> He's got my tools, actually. Uh, he sharpened them. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the old caulk and we are going to be redoing that to see if that stops the leak. So here we go, or here I go. <laughs> Tony's busy. On Earth. Yeah, he's busy with other stuff, so I told him I'd go ahead and do that. And then he's actually gonna do the re caulking, but I'm just gonna do the caulk removal. So fingers crossed that this is gonna solve the issues because I don't wanna put on any more wet t shirts or sweatshirts, especially while we're camping. <laughs> so we kinda need those. So here we go. Up to the roof. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys on the roof. Okay, so we're on the roof. It's a beautiful view from up here. Tony, we just need to get our chairs and set up here in the evening. <laughs> oh man, you're sweating. Of course I'm sweating, it's hot. Ooh, look at that. Anyway, he just came up here with me to take a look, but here's the spot, well he's, He's already. We think it's over here. <laughs> yeah, he's already kind of dove into it. So, yeah, we think it's probably right there. There is a little bit around the ladders. There. And her, her mm -hmm. closet is. Yeah, my closet is directly right below this. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're thinking. The closet looked pretty good though. There was no. I'll go in there and take a picture of it. There was nothing on the. The ceiling, right. it's it's clear white. There's nothing I think on the walls. It was a very small drip from the rain we had, and it was just dripping down and hitting that bottom side. I think so because mm -hmm. it didn't it didn't soak the bottom of your of your closet. The you know the closet bottom wasn't wet. Yeah, just the clothes. It was just a couple where it hit on there. I mean, and then you're because it's inside and in the shade, it just stayed damp. Now my whole closet was full of clothes too. It was only the ones in the middle and only like the the bottom down edge the bottom. of We're probably in the back. Bon down to bottom. Yep. Yeah. So all right. Well, keep your fingers crossed that this is gonna work. I'm gonna get to it. I just broke it. <laughs> it was a hard piece. Oh well, I guess I'll go to this. Different tool. Oh. It was hot today too. It's like 87 the end of September here. Yeah, this is this is really bad here. This RV is a 2013 model, a motorhome. Oh, some of it's still kind of gooey, actually. You kind of freak out when something like that happens, especially when water's involved involved because you don't know you know where it's coming from if you can fix it yourself you know these things are pretty expensive to maintain and you don't want anything happening to your rv but unfortunately something's always going on that has to be fixed or replaced or maintained Kind of feels like chewed bubble gum. It's got that consistency to it, slightly sticky.
All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and keep working on this. It's pretty boring, so I'm going to try to get the big, big hunks on both sides. And then I'll just go back and redo. I'll go back and continue to remove the smaller pieces here in just a little bit. Okay, here's the pile of old caulk that I removed. It's a pretty good pile. Looks pretty nappy. And feels old. It's pretty gross. And here's what it looks like after. I've been out here quite a while doing this. It's probably been at least an hour and a half. As you can see, it's kind of getting dark out here too. Anyway, um, went over it several times, removing every bit that I could, including off the ladder here. So Tony is going to come out here tomorrow and re this. It's supposed to be nice all week, so it's getting a little too late to do it tonight. But we decided to just wait till tomorrow evening and finish it up. So can't wait till it's done, but we'll be back here, out here tomorrow night. Well, I guess it's my turn. It's time to put on the caulking. Uh, I'm using the Dicor, which seems to be what everybody uses. This is lap sealant made for these rubber membrane, membrane roofs for RVs. This is the self-leveling. There are two different kinds. There's self-leveling, and then there is the ones that uh, that uh, do not self-level. The non-self-leveling are for the sidewall so that they don't run. So this ought to be interesting. You kind of put it on, and then it kind of just doesn't melt, but it kind of it settles down and uh, fills up the cracks. And uh, yeah, never used it before, but uh, well, guess we're fixing to find out. So. Uh, here we go. Already got a cutter. Already got the cap cut off. I hope a stink bug doesn't land in it. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't gonna get out. They were all over the, up here when I was oh, wiping right. it down with alcohol. There's not much up here for now. But they land last night. Two or three of them landed. While you was working. There's one on my hand, isn't there? It just yeah, flew off. It just flew off. Oh, no, oh, it's yeah, still in there. Throwing. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> wow, that sky is so pretty today. Yeah. So it looks like what they've done is they, they put it on the, across the screw, right in here, across the screw, and it flows over onto the sides to seal the screw. And then they're running a bead down the side here, and that's rolling down and covering it. Yeah. And the so, end here. Yeah, no, the, the whole end is just kind of gooped. <laughs> yeah. There's still a piece like yeah, inside yeah. here. We'll yeah, it'll be okay. Just leave it? Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. Okay. okay. Ooh, it looks like marshmallow cream. The ladder's kind of in the way. The what? The ladder is kind of in the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Roll around there. Marshmallow cream. I swear it looks just like marshmallow cream. So I'm going to go along and get all the bolts first. Doesn't really have a smell that I can smell. No, it doesn't smell like standard. Hmm. Caulk. So it gets hard? No. It, uh, it stays soft, but it. It's supposed to droop. I mean, it can't stay too soft. No, it was just like the other stuff. Oh, okay. The outside gets crusty. Yeah, with age, yeah. I'm getting little whiffs of it. It just smells kind of clean, actually. Yeah, it has a, a right chemical with, smell. You're right with the marshmallow, though. It's a lot like marshmallow cream. Yep. And the stink bug just hit me in the head. I know. I'm right, here he is right here. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Tony's getting a <laughs> stink bug. It's stink bug. Cray cray. Well, that's about all we can do. So uh, we really won't know whether it uh, did 
did okay to stop that little drip leak that we had until well until it rains again so uh, which might be this weekend so I guess we'll find out so easy fix really uh, kind of a neat product again that was called the uh, what was that called again uh, Dicor Dicor products uh, this is the white self-leveling uh, it's pretty neat, and now I know why it looks like it looks like everywhere else on the top of the on the RVs because that's that's how it does that's how it doesn't ha that's how it seals. So, yeah, well, guess we'll find out whenever it rains. It's been just about 24 hours, just a few hours short of it. This is the next day, and here's what it looks like. It's still really soft. It feels like bubble gum. So you can kind of smush it down. But I just want to show you this. Look at this. It looks just like marshmallow cream. Look at that. It looks the same as marshmallow cream. Yep, I could just put that on there and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay, so now we just got to wait for the rain. We had thought about just putting the hose up here, but we're just going to let it let it rain because we have uh, some forecasted rain coming probably in a couple days. It's like a 30% chance. We're just going to wait for that and see what happens. So we'll come back with the final update. There's another one of our favorite friends. Guess what? It's raining. It's coming down pretty good. I think I'm gonna go ahead inside and see. It's been raining for about 15 or 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead inside and see if we see anything. Let's go. Whew, getting wet. There's a stink bug in here. Get out of here. Got him. I'm throwing him out in the rain. Bye bye. He'll probably be right back in. Okay. Boy, that's really coming down now. Well, this ought to tell us. Let's see. I need to shine my flashlight in there. Hang on. First, I'm gonna feel. I know it's kind of dark. Nope. It probably take a while for it to to come in, but I don't feel anything. Okay, this is the final check. It's probably been about eight to ten hours since it first started raining. Pretty good. I went and got my big, heavy-duty Black and Decker rechargeable flashlight. We can see good. Yep. Everything's bone dry. So I'm going to start putting my clothes back in here now. Everything looks good. The ceiling looks perfect. It's still a mystery that I had wet clothes, but I guess it was coming in somewhere. We're just glad that it's fixed.